Hello and welcome to the Age of Gaming. This will be our second video in the Kim 1 series. In the first video we loaded the PLL set program and executed it to resolve an audio in problem that we were having. Basically our Kim 1 was unable to read tapes back into it. It could store them out but it couldn't read them back in. So we resolved that problem. So now it's time to demonstrate how to save a program to tape and then load that program back from tape. So let's get started. I've already got a program loaded here at uh, 0, 0200 uh, and the first command is A9018D1D and the last command is at address 0213 I believe. Yes, it's an F1. So let's go back to 200. Now, the first thing you're going to have to do is go to address space 00F1. That's your uh, status register, and you can see it's set to FF. That puts it in uh, binary decimal mode, and we need, or binary coded decimal mode, and we need it to be in binary mode. So we're going to change that from an FF to a 00. And then the next address we need to go to is 17F. Now, when uh, storing a program out to tape, you have to give it the beginning address and the end address and a tape ID. So the uh, low, the beginning address low byte of 0, 0200 is 0, 00. So we're going to put 0, 00 in here. And then 0, 02 will be the high byte of our beginning address. Then we continue on, and now it wants the uh, the ending address, low and high byte. Well, the ending address is 213, but we have to add 1 to it. So instead of 213, we're going to make it 0214. So we're going to put the low byte in first, which is a 14, and then the high byte, which is a 02 again. And then at 17F9 is where you always put your... Uh, tape ID or your program ID, you know, so you can have multiple programs on a single tape. So we're going to put that at 0, 1 for now. And then finally, you just go to address 1800, which is the uh, dump routine that's going to dump everything out to the tape drive. So we're going to press play and record. Let's see if we're rewound. Yep. Play and record first, and then press go. And we should get all zeros in these four spaces. There you go. That means it successfully wrote out to the tape. Now, to see if, it, if we read it back in correctly, we're going to first turn off the Kim 1, clearing all the memory. Turn it back on and go to address 0200 and we can verify the A9 is not there, nothing's there. And we're going to make sure this is rewound. Okay, and again, the first thing you're going to have to do is go to, to restore, is go to address 00F1, the status register, and clear the decimal bit and Change that to binary, then simply go to address 17F9, which is asking for the tape ID. We're going to put in uh, 0, 01. And then finally, you simply go to address 1873, and that's the command to tell it to record or to bring the program back into the Kim 1 memory. So we're going to hit that and press go and then play this time. And again, we're looking for all zeros to show up here. There we go. So it should have successfully loaded the program back into memory. So we can go to address 0200 and verify there's our A9018D01 and go to address 0213 where we should see our F1. 
So yeah, we successfully saved the program out to tape and restored the program from tape back into the CHEM 1. Now let's go take a look at these instructions one more time so that it gets burned into your memory. Okay, here are your tape drive instructions again. To save a program out to tape, first thing you're going to do is go to address 00F1 and clear the decimal mode, basically putting it into binary mode. You're going to, in 17F5 and 17F6, you're going to put the starting address. First the low byte, which in our case was 00, and the high byte at 02, because we start our program at 0200. Then at 17F7 and 17F8, you're going to put the ending address plus 1. So the ending address was 0213. So we're going to put for the low byte a 14 and then the high byte 02 again. And then we're going to put the tape ID and we put in the tape ID 01. We press record and play and go to address 1800 and press go and our program will start loading onto the tape. Now to load from the tape and back into the Kim one it's a little bit simpler process. Again you go to address 00F1 to clear the decimal mode putting it into binary mode. Then you go to address 17F9 and put in the same ID that you used when you saved to the tape. So we put a 01 in 17F9 and then simply go to address 1873 which is the subroutine that you need to load a tape and press go. Then we press play on the cassette player and it'll load the program back onto our Chem 1. Hopefully you got all of that. If not just copy this down because you're going to need it every single time that you want to you know, store a program or load a program back into your Chem 1. Anyhow, thank you for watching. Have a great day.